Hello, everyone. Uh, OK, so this is a two hour presentation that I proposed to SSP and also to UKSG and they both rejected it. So I proposed it here as a lightning talk and I was very pleased and lucky to be accepted um, into the program. So, so that's good news. Um, how to hire, how to get hired. The reason it's this double story is basically to encourage people to come to it without having to explain to their boss that they're at it in order to look for another job. They're pretending that they're looking at it to hire people. And um, slide advance is not working. That's interesting. Ah, oh, here we are. No, no. Ah, oh, here we are. Right. Okay. So the normal hiring job seeking process basically goes like this: untrained hiring managers, and you've all done that. You've all interviewed people and hired as not part of your proper, proper job. They deal with a weak pool of applicants. They do a cursory review of CVs because they've got 100 CVs and they're trying to pull out some. They do a vague conversation with the candidate. So, would you be any good at this job? Yes, I would. Okay, fine, good. Um, someone gets an offer. Um, they might take that offer or they might not. Um, but in the end, someone gets hired, right, which is great. And they may do the job well or, or badly. And they stay for a while because they kind of accidentally got hired and, and here they are. So that's the, the, the normal recruiting process. And I guess some of you are familiar with, with some of that. So how to do it a bit better? Well, how does it work? So first step is finding candidates. So how are you finding candidates? Here's your classic four box matrix. <clears throat> so you've got cheap or expensive across the bottom and useless or effective on the side. So finding candidates. So one step is advertising. Actually not that expensive these days. You can put an ad on LinkedIn or something like that. You get 200 applications. My very favorite was I got an application for a job that I advertise. Somebody wrote in and said, my brother's English is not very good, so I'm applying on his behalf, but I'm sure he can learn English once he's got the job. Um, so the problem with advertising really is you just get this massive responses. And you also only get responses from people who are looking very actively looking for a job. Agencies, won't name names, but you could call a recruitment agency. They look through their database and send you 30 CVs as fast as they can. And if you call two recruitment agencies, they both send you the same 30 CVs, only slightly faster because they're in competition with each other. Um, then you've got to wade through the CVs. Same problems as advertising. Networking, very cheap, very effective. Ask your friends, ask around. Does anyone know someone who'd be good for this job? Post on LinkedIn going, does anyone know anyone who'd be good for this job? It's a very, very effective way of getting interest from people and, and good quality applications. Um, and promotion, internal promotion, probably the cheapest and the best way to fill a position. Often your organization is full of people who can do the job. And those shiny, glossy outside people are not as shiny as glossy as they look. And the people in-house who have their flaws are actually great. And of course, the very best way to do that uh, recruitment is headhunting. Well, I would say that, wouldn't I? Because that's what I do. And this is, this is, I should say, a corporate promotion. Uh, I don't know whether you knew that. Um, so headhunting is cool because good headhunters will find people who aren't looking for jobs, who will then consider your job. And if they consider it carefully and take it, they will be very good hires who stay because they've made a very careful decision rather than someone who's looking for a job who will take what they can get on the whole. They still might be great, but it's a different motivation. Headhunters are very expensive, but actually they're very good value because if you think about your time reading through 100 CVs and interviewing 10 people and maybe hiring one of them compared to looking at no CVs, being given a curated shortlist of three people, interviewing all three of them, finding they're all great and hiring one, your time, if you value your time at all, headhunting's dead cheap. So that's the finding part. And then there's the choosing part. So how do you choose your candidates? Same matrix, hurrah. OK, so CVs, resumes, they're very cheap because people send them in, right? Um, and you read them. They're not great ways for finding people. They're quite good for finding someone who's done exactly the thing you want done in their previous job. But in many ways, those are not great candidates because they're bored and they don't want to do the same job and so on. So CVs and CVs disguise all kinds of weaknesses. Um, so they're, they're just not great, to be honest. Um, covering letters. I think covering letters are great. A lot of people object to covering letters being asked to do them. I think they're a really good way of getting a candidate to say, you know, why it is they're right for that job. And if you if you request a very specific covering letter, you get some really useful responses. Interviewing <clears throat> is incredibly expensive. And again, if you value your time, 
interviewing is really expensive. It's not terribly effective. People don't ask the right questions. Um, you need to be trained really to be a good job recruiting interviewer and to know what question to ask beyond the surface question to really delve into to things. One of my favorite interview questions, when someone describes their job in a bit of a vague way and you don't quite get it, ask them to draw an organization chart of where they fit into the organization. If they can't, then they're either a bit dubious or they work for Springer. Um, psychometrics. Uh, psychometrics are pretty cool if used well. You've got to be a bit careful about psychometrics because they everyone comes out badly in psychometrics. Um, and you've got to you've got to know what it is you're looking for. If you're going to do psychometrics, I suggest doing it really seriously with a proper psychologist to explain the results to you. Uh, exercises, giving candidates exercises to do is very powerful, quite time consuming, but well worth doing if you can be bothered. References are very powerful, especially informal ones. Written references are pointless, but if you ring up your mates and say, did so-and-so work for you two years ago, were they any good? Incredibly powerful, incredibly cheap. And of course, the very best process is headhunting, which is, as I say, really expensive, but really effective. And headhunters on the whole are really good at matching a good candidate with a good organization. So I think what we're concluding is that this sweet spot of effective and highly expensive, but very good value, is the right answer. So if anyone wanted to give me a call because they were thinking of hiring, that would be great. If anyone's wanted to give me a call because they're thinking of moving jobs, that's cool too. We always like talking to candidates. Um, so that really is the conclusion of both how to hire people and how to get hired. Thank you very much.